The first step is to draw half of this object lengthwise and use revolve command to complete the object. So I'm going to bring my drawing to front view, so go to view panel, take this drop down arrow and select front view, and then draw a line. So type L for line command, click anywhere on the screen, bring your cursor upward for 20 millimeters. And to your right for 1.05, which is half of the diameter as shown here. 1.05. Move your cursor downward for 17 units. And then click the end point. Now I'm going to draw a line. There is a line from this point to this point. Line from end point to the perpendicular point. Then there is another line near the tip and the distance from this line down here is 2 units. So O for offset and enter 2, enter, click the line, click below that line. Now I'm going to trim, so type TR for trim command, enter twice and just click this object. Now I'm going to offset this line too for 2 units, so O for offset. Enter 2, select this line, and click below that line. Now I'm going to join the segments by typing J for join command. So J, click this line, this line here, this line, and this line. Now this is one object. For the head, I'm going to use polyline. So you can either go to draw panel, select polyline, or type PL for plane command, enter, specify start point, click this in point, bring your cursor upward for 5 units, and to your right for 4 units, which is half of the diameter, downward for 0.5, and you can either right click to select arc, or go down to the command prompt, and do first, go down to the command prompt, and click arc option so i'm just gonna click arc here then right click again you can go down here or select radius here by right clicking and enter six click this in point right click again and select line and click this in point now this is one object and this is also one object now i'm gonna use revolve command so rev or you can go to modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select revolve. So select objects to revolve. I'm just gonna click this one and select this one. Enter and specify axis start point. I'm gonna start from this end point and this end point and enter zero or 360 degrees to complete the revolution. I'm just gonna enter zero. Now, I'm going to draw the cross. So, I'm going to bring this object to top view. I'm going to try 2D wireframe. All right. And the distance from end to end is 4.5 and the thickness is 0.8. So, I'm going to draw a line anywhere here for 4.5. Another line, 4.5 downward, move this line from midpoint to midpoint. Before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on, polar tracking or ortho mode, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap, dynamic QCS, and um, yeah, that's it. And then the thickness is 0.8, so what I'm going to do is offset each side for 0.4. So O for offset command, enter, and enter 0.4. Click this line, click above that line, click this line, and click below that line. Same process here, click this line, click to the right, click this line, and click to the left. L for line again, 
Input to input. Same process. Input to input. Right click to repeat line. Now I'm going to trim this portion here. So type TR for trim command. Enter twice and just window this one. Window this one. Window again. Or just click the lines, the unwanted lines. Right click and select erase. Now I'm going to apply fillet. As shown here. And the radius for that is 0.4. So go to modify panel. Select fillet. Go down to the command window and select radius option and enter 0.4 and go back to the command prompt click multiple option click this line this line this line this line enter now join the segments by typing j for join command so j just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. I'm going to move this object on the face of the head. Move. Hover over the center. You can see that uh, white thingy. Snap that. And hover over the face. And you can see that uh, blue color and snap. Now, I'm going to extrude this object for 1.88 with an angle of 12 degrees. Extrude. So, extrude this cross. So, go to extrude command. Click the cross. Bring your cursor downward. Select taper angle. And enter 12. And for the height is 1.88, which is this one here. I'm going to show you using X-ray. Now, I'm going to use subtract command to subtract this one from this object here to create the hole. So, inside the solid editing panel, click subtract command. Click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object that you don't want or the object that you want to subtract. To create the thread, so go to draw panel, select helix, click the center of this circle or shift right click and select center and snap that quadrant. And then specify top radius or diameter of helix. Just press enter to accept because it has the same size as this circle. Right click, enter, right click again, and turn height is the distance between the pitch from this point to this point is 2.5. So enter 2.5. And um, inside the command window, click access endpoint. And just click this endpoint here. And then helix again. Repeat helix. Snap the center of the circle. Make sure your Z axis vector is pointing upward because we're drawing on the X and Y plane. So you go to coordinates, click Z axis vector, and just snap anywhere and bring the Z axis upward. And again, helix. So you can type in helix. Shift right click. And click the center of the circle. Snap that quadrant here. In point of the helix. And then specify top radius or diameter. I'm just going to click enter. And then the turn height. You can just right click and select turn height. You can go down to the command prompt. Enter. And then access endpoint. Just click this uh, endpoint of this line. 
so I'm just gonna draw a circle and just click that in point now I'm gonna highlight this one and this one and grab this one towards the end or the quadrant now it's snapping to the edge of the circle now I'm gonna drag this inside for point one the reason for that is I want to create this uh, pointed end which is it gets smaller as it goes to the end and uh, same here this one here so what I'm gonna do for this side I'm just gonna create a circle again from this end point and snap that in point and draw helix again so go to draw panel select helix or you can type in helix and uh, specify center point click that in point or center of the circle and snap that quadrant and then specified stop radius which is also 1.05 so just right click and enter and right click again to select turn height which is 2.5 so enter and just snap that uh, in point here not in point click access in point and snap that center now this is our third helix this one here now same process i'm gonna bring this one inside so just grab it and move it towards the center for point one now bring your object to front view to do this thread i'm gonna do a triangle so inside the draw panel select polygon enter three sides so type three specify center of polygon click circumscribe or inscribe it won't matter and make sure the it's pointing that way now i'm going to draw a line from midpoint move to your right for one unit i'm going to scale this triangle so type ec for scale command click this one right click specify base point and uh, go down to the command window click reference reference from this midpoint to this midpoint and just drag this one up to the end of that line now copy this triangle about three of them i'm just gonna erase that so inside the modeling panel click this drop down arrow and select sweep command click this object right click enter right click again and select alignment and select no right click again and select base point click this um, corner and select this helix i'm gonna show you what happened here so i'm just gonna use um conceptual oh no i cannot do that i have to use x-rays i could see this helix here so helix again so type in no not helix but sweep click this object right click enter right click again and select alignment select no right click again and select base point click this uh, in point or corner right click again and select scale and scale it for point one and select this uh, helix here sweep command again click this object enter right click again select alignment select no right click again and select base point click this base point right click again and select scale and select point one and select this helix all right so i'm gonna change this to conceptual I'm 
going to join the segments or combine by using union command inside the solid editing panel. And just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. I'm going to change this to realistic. Apply materials. I'm just going to turn off the grid. Move this one away. Materials. I'm just going to minimize this one. Maximize. And I'm going to use um, just metallic paint and use reflective flake reflective beach and click this arrow here to bring it up here just select this object see that uh, pen icon right click and select assign to selection or you can just simply drag this one and drop it here and go to visualize click this drop down arrow adjust exposure setting And I think we are done. So thanks for watching and please don't forget to click that subscribe button and bell button to get notified for the next tutorial.